Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best heart rate monitor 20. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Garmin HRM. Garmin HRM Garmin has finally announced and started shipping the chest strap bringing Bluetooth to their higher end heart rate strap that also transmits advanced running metrics and has memory on board for watch less activities. This, of course, follows the strap that was announced last January which brought dual Bluetooth smart compatibility. However, that strap lacked the features of the series which included Garmin's running dynamics data as well as the ability to capture workouts when you didn't wear a watch. Now all that stuff is together in one albeit expensive strap. I've been using the new strap for a bit now across numerous sports, including swimming to see how it handles. I've also tested it out sans watch to understand how it differs from seemingly similar options offered by Polar and Wahoo. And as you'll see that differences are important depending on how you plan to use it. This is essentially the pinnacle of straps for Garmin users, but has far less applicability for users outside the Garmin ecosystem finally because this is ultimately just a strap. I'll try and keep this review a bit more straightforward and condensed. I'll probably fail at that, but yeah, I'll try. And as usual, I'll send this media loaner back in a pile of gear to them shortly. And if you found this review useful, you can hit up the links at the end of the post which help support the site with that onto the review a watch during the workout martial arts some crossfit other sports what this does is essentially account for your daily activity metrics so this includes steps intensity minutes calories and heart rate this makes it seamless between the other hours of the day you wear the watch with the hour you can so on your garmin dashboard it looks like one seamless day even though you didn't wear the watch for a chunk of it also it's crazy fast on how it catches up displays faster than the time it took me to come out of the water and grab a screenshot from my phone on the dock. More on that in a minute. Note this feature does not create workout files that sync to Strava or such as some other straps do. More on that too in a minute. So ultimately the is really as its name suggests it's Garmin's top end strap for Garmin users there's zero reason to buy the strap over Garmin's strap if you don't have a Garmin watch inversely. If you do have a Garmin watch I'd have a pretty tough time recommending the older HRM tri strap these days even though that is reasonably priced whereas this is crazy priced. But hey I guess that's the price of admission to data. The number 4 on the list is Polar Verity. Polar Verity your pulse is perfect for fitness feedback the faster your blood pump goes ba dumb the harder your body is working but a getting reliable measurement usually means strapping an elasticated sensor to your chest which understandably isn't everyone's idea of comfortable workout attire want heart rate data without throttling your pecs enter the Polar Verity sense a streamlined optical sensor which can strap around your arm as accessible as a smartwatch, but as accurate as a chest strap, setup it looks like the ideal combo for easier beat, readings with straightforward indicators and a one-button interface, it's also one of the simplest tools for tracking your physical performance during exercise. But does the Polar Verity Sense do enough to get the heart? Racing the core component of the Polar Verity Sense is its optical tracker a plastic puck with button proportions, this dinky disc harbors the six LEDs which take your pulse. It's a featherweight thing, hitting the scales adjust, adopting a simple modular, set up the sensor element clips securely into the bundled armband, which can then be worn around your forearm or bicep. The armband also serves as an antenna boosting the Bluetooth range of the Verity Sense. Alternatively you can snap the tracker into the included swimming clip which hooks onto the strap of a pair of goggles. When it's time to recharge, simply clip it into the charging dock with a reassuring click confirming that the puck is firmly in place. This pop and swap approach is usefully foolproof so too is the tracker's physical interface. The Verity Sense ships with three modes, one for swimming, one for transmitting live heart rate data to another device via Bluetooth or and one for recording workout info to the tracker's internal memory, then since to your smartphone. Later there's just one button on the Verity Sense which is used for powering on and switching modes. The armband's bracket design can make it a little tricky to get at, but this also prevents accidental inputs during a workout. The LEDs on the puck's underside double up as mode indicators press the button to cycle through the options, and once the light has landed next to the right icon a short flash confirms you're up and running. It's equally simple to stop recording once your PB's in the bag, simply turn 
the polar verity sense off to end the session and save the data as soon as it's set to recording mode the tracker will start logging your activity but because the leds are underneath you'll either need to pick your preferred function the number three on the list is scosh rhythm heart rate scosh rhythm heart rate is a heart rate monitor it works really well for me cycling or in gym classes i wear it just below the elbow either on the inside or the side of the arm depending on what i'm doing it is much more comfortable than chest straps which either feel like they are slipping off or are too tight the band material doesn't have much give which allows me to have it comfortably loose on the arm but it doesn't slip down over the forearm i'm not sure how long this strap will last time will tell the work better than the electrodes on chest strap in my opinion they don't need to be wet beforehand and give accurate reading from the outset my garment chest strap gives silly high readings for the first minutes at the start of a ride before settling down the rhythm works with both my nexus phone and my garmin bike and my garmin sports watch very useful to have the dual connectivity for say gym or spin classes as well as with the garmin bike battery life is claimed at hours and i charge after each long ride or two charging is via a custom cradle but if that's the price for water resistance fair enough so far stars i brought this via amazon seller mazel wireless because it was advertised as brand new rather than just boring old new however the unit i received although new turned out to be an old firmware revision and not user upgrade able this firmware may or may not affect other users but with certain garmin units the underestimates calorie count significantly calories for an hour ride when a figure between and would be expected in my case the garmin gave the low calorie readings but the garmin gave expected values as i'd only just got the unit i decided to go straight to skosh who to their credit agreed to replace the rhythm with a new firmware version however i still i had to incur the hassle and costs to send the unit to back to them and the whole exchange process meant i was without a unit for almost weeks hence the lost stars the replacement unit gives expected calorie readings with all my devices and the skosh rhythm has completely replaced the uncomfortable chest strap as I keep using it and forget about the initial hassle I marry visit this review and increase the rating. For background info on the firmware issue please search for Rainmaker's review. The number two on the list is Fitbit Lux Fitness. Fitbit Lux Fitness, there are also more band options for the Lux which is available in two versions, one with a silicone band and one with a gold-toned stainless steel link bracelet by jewelry designer Gorjana. The latter has a distinctly feminine look, but unlike the Garmin Lily which has a similar jewelry-inspired look the Lux isn't specifically aimed at women and its silicone bands come in, lunar white orchid or black additional bands are sold separately. Our test unit T had a silicone band in lunar white which was extremely comfortable even at night many modern fitness trackers including Fitbit's latest designs use a soft buckle and tang in place of a traditional fastening for added comfort, particularly while sleeping, but the Lux's small stainless steel buckle was impossible to feel. The tracker's small size meant it never dug into our wrist during workouts as larger sports watches can sometimes do the most striking thing about the Fitbit Lux, however is its screen whereas most of Fitbit's smaller fitness trackers including the Inspire and Charge have a monochrome display the Lux's display is a full color a mold with a pixel resolution and it looks fantastic. It's also responsive, which is hugely important for a device with no physical buttons watch faces can be customized through the companion app with lots of attractive options to choose, from including analog and digital designs that make the most of the bright colorful display all of these show the time at a glance, but some also offer additional stats, including your current heart rate step count and calories burned so you can view them without Swiping the range is already impressive and Fitbit may well add more faces over the coming months. The number 5 on the list is Polar Heart Rate. Fitbit Lux Fitness There are also more band options for the Lux which is available in two versions, one with a silicone band and one with a gold-toned stainless steel link bracelet by jewelry designer Gorjana. The latter has a distinctly feminine look, but unlike the Garmin Lily which has a similar jewelry-inspired look the Lux isn't specifically aimed at women and its silicone bands come in lunar white orchid or black additional bands are sold separately. Our test unit had a silicone band in lunar white which was extremely comfortable even at night. 
Many modern fitness trackers, including Fitbit's latest design, use a soft buckle and tang in place of a traditional fastening for added comfort, particularly while sleeping, but the Lux's small stainless steel buckle was impossible to feel the trackers, small size meant it never dug into our wrist during workouts, as larger sports watches can sometimes do the most striking thing about the Fitbit. Lux however is its screen most of Fitbit's smaller fitness trackers including the Inspire and Charge have a monochrome OLED display. The Lux's display is a full-color mold with a pixel resolution, and it looks fantastic. It's also responsive, which is hugely important for a device with no physical buttons watch faces, can be customized through the companion app, with lots of attractive options to choose, from including analog and digital designs that make the most of the bright colorful display all of these show the time at a glance, but some also offer additional stats, including your current heart rate step count and calories burned so you can view them without swiping the range is already impressive, and Fitbit may well add more faces over the coming months. If you've used a Fitbit before, you'll be familiar with the overall experience during the process of writing this Fitbit Lux review we found, the device simple to use, with an interface that makes tracking your activity and well-being as easy as possible, however before you take it on your first workout it's worth taking a moment to customize a few settings.